Attorneys explain how the Colorado Skier Safety Act protects you and resorts. Bill Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. First, a group of skiers remotely triggered a large avalanche on the northeast face of Peak 1 yesterday. No one was injured, but the slide broke within five feet of their track on the East Ridge. The CAIC reminds backcountry travelers to use extreme caution and conservative route selection through the entire Summit and Eagle County zone. The Beach Boys were blaring and the sun was shining for opening day on North Peak at Keystone. The resort opened Wednesday, and this is the earliest two peaks have opened in years. Chet from Boulder made the trip for tradition. I've come for opening day for the last eight years, so I got a tradition going. At the base of Santiago Express, Amy P was scanning tickets for her second season after six years of finance in New York. So does she prefer the mountains or the city? The mountain, hands down. Crystal Zone TJ Sanders skipped Breckenridge to take a chance on North Peak and got the goods with rope drop powder turns on Last Alamo. You don't know until you go. There is no top to bottom riding yet at Keystone, but Jay, a disabled vet from Summit Cove, didn't mind the walk from Mont Zuma chair to the gondola for downloading. I know that we're going to get dumped on this year, so it's going to be great. Above average snowpack in Colorado means ski crowds could be thick this weekend and all the way through the Christmas holiday. Snowboard instructor Scott Angfang has one piece of advice. The biggest thing is actually just calming it down, taking it easy. An injury or lawsuit is the quickest way to ruin your season, and everyone who loads a chairlift agrees to the Colorado Skier Safety Act. But what does it do? Defines what the inherent risks of skiing are, and the reason and that's important is because you can't have any action against the ski area operator if you're injured by one of the inherent risks of skiing. That was attorney Trent Ongert with Denver law firm Block & Chaplow. If you're caught in an accident on the slopes, he says the act defines terms for personal injury lawsuits. There really is no limit. I mean, the act protects you no matter what. Here's how the Skier Safety Act protects ski resorts. You should read the back of your lift ticket because despite what the Skier Safety Act says, the lift ticket is going to say that you can't sue a ski area operator for any reason at all. A recent lawsuit in Vail determined that inbounds avalanches are an inherent risk of the sport. The only time you can sue a ski area is for reckless or willful misconduct. Local towns and Summit County are interested in a multi-use field house, an idea decades in the making. Frisco's acting town manager, Diane McBride. Many of us who have been in the world of recreation understand a field house to be really just an indoor facility, if you will, different than what a rec center is. The field house is in early stages. Officials sent paper surveys to 2,100 residents and launched an online survey last month. Planning and construction will not move forward until this first phase is finished. How do you pay for the facility, what does the ongoing cost look like? So all those discussions come after this first phase of is there a need? What does that look like? The online survey is open until November 15th. Find it through the Breckenridge, Frisco or Silverthorne Town websites. Crews broke ground yesterday on the newest hotel in Dillon, one of four large projects meant to modernize the town core. The Homewood Suites by Hilton is located next to the old Conoco Station. This four-story hotel features 122 suites with kitchens, plus indoor pool and outdoor patio. Tentative opening date is next ski season. A luxury condo complex, the Uptown 240 next door to Homewood Suites, broke ground earlier this fall. Another condo complex is under construction by La Riva Center, and an urgent care facility is planned for behind Dillon Dam Brewery. In sports, the Avalanche play the Jets in Winnipeg at 6 tonight, and the Nuggets play the Nets in Denver. Tip-off is 7. Tomorrow, the CU Buffs play number 8 Washington State at 1.30 on ESPN, and CSU plays Nevada at 8.30. The Broncos have a bye week. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, this weekend, Summit Girls Rugby defends its state title for a landmark 11th season at the State 7s Tournament in Colorado Springs. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.